Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the Excel timesheet template. First, let's go into the settings page. This page allows you to enter and change parameters to set up your timesheet. We can first set up the current year, we'll leave it at 2020. Then, lower, you can enter the employee ID, his name, and department. The section below, Regular Hours, allows you to enter a standard number of hours worked in a day for a weekday, Monday to Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday. Here we have a basis of an 8-hour workday for every day but Saturdays and Sundays. Finally, the last section allows you to enter a list of reasons for absence. You can change the existing ones and have up to 9 reasons. Great! Now, let's head to the main data input section, the timesheet. As you can see, there are 12 tabs, one per month, each breaking down the daily schedule. Let's fill in the first few days together. Let's say on the 1st of January, our employee did not work. We will leave the time in, lunch start, lunch end, and time out sections blank. We will only fill in the cause of absence, which is, in our case, time paid holiday. In the absence in hours, which is 8, as it is our standard workday hours. Let's move on to the 2nd of January. Our employee started working at 8 a.m., had lunch at 12, ended his lunch at 1, and finished work at 5. As you can see, the worked hours, regular hours, and overtime automatically calculate. Our worked hours is 8, as are our regular hours, which makes an overtime of 0 hours. Finally, let's input data for the third. He started at 8, had lunch at 12, and at his lunch at 1.30 and finished work at 7. As you can see, he worked 9.5 hours that day, which is 1.5 hours over time. Great, now that we've entered data, we're ready to look at the report. Firstly, the scoreboard header. It indicates the most important metrics starting from the number of work days, the overtime and days, the number of sick days, the absenteeism rate, the number of holidays, and the number of vacation days. These numbers apply to the whole year. Next, we have the worked hours versus regular hours and the overtime hours. The first graph indicates if the employee has worked above or under the regular hours. And the overtime hours indicates how many hours extra the employee has worked. Both of these graphs display the data per month. Next, we have the absence reason. It is, just like the above two, a monthly detail and it indicates the number of days absent per reason. We have vacations, holidays, and sick leave. The table underneath details the worked hours, regular hours, overtime hours, sick leave, holiday leave, and vacation leave, all in hours, per month. Finally, the last graph indicates the absenteeism rate, that calculates based on the sick days compared to the total work days. And that's it. You know everything you need to know about our Excel timesheet template. You're ready to start using it now. Enjoy!